I will share several tips and tricks to help you fix battery drain issues you might be experiencing on your iOS 26 device. The latest iOS 26 is now available, and as expected, it's full of new features and changes. However, these new additions can also lead to increased battery drain on your iPhone, especially right after the initial release. We'll likely need to wait a few weeks for subsequent updates to hopefully improve battery life. A quick favor, please subscribe to support the channel. First, let's talk about the update itself. Many people installed the iOS 26 betas, which were incredibly popular. Now that the final version is out, ensure your device is updated to the latest public release and you are no longer on a beta. This means you should have the newer update installed. Interestingly, even after installing the RC, a newer build was released. To get it, go to your software update page, turn off beta updates, then return to the main update screen. You should see an update listed under Available. Install this new build for the most current version. A major new feature in iOS 26 is spatial wallpapers for the lock screen, enabled by a button that creates a cool 3D effect. However, this motion and animation consume battery power. To save battery, make sure this feature is disabled by tapping the button so it shows a line through the icon. Next is a useful new battery feature, adaptive power. Find it by going to Settings, Tap Battery, then Power Mode. This feature helps extend your battery life by automatically making performance adjustments. When your iPhone detects higher than usual usage, simply toggle it on to let it work automatically. With a major iOS release, countless apps receive updates for better performance and compatibility. It's crucial to ensure all your apps are updated. Go to the App Store, visit your account page, and update all apps manually. Alternatively, you can enable automatic app updates in your App Store settings. So this happens without any effort on your part. You should also check which apps are using the most battery. Go to Settings, Tap Battery to see a list. While frequently used apps will naturally be high on the list, pay attention to any apps you rarely use that are still consuming significant power. These could be poorly optimized. Consider deleting them and finding a better alternative on the App Store. iMessage now allows you to set backgrounds for your conversations. While using a still image or color is fine, the new animated backgrounds will drain your battery. If you want to use a background, stick with a static image to conserve power. For devices that supported iPhone 15 series and newer, Apple Intelligence is a major new feature. However, if you don't use these AI features regularly, it's best to turn them off. They work in the background, ready to provide suggestions which consumes battery. You can disable them entirely in settings under Apple Intelligence and Siri. A significant setting that impacts battery is Background App Refresh. Go to Settings, then General Go to Background App Refresh. This allows apps to update content when you're not using them. Review the list and disable this feature for as many apps as possible, as most don't genuinely need it. Location Services is another major battery drainer. You can find it in Settings, Go to Privacy and Security, Location, go to Location Services. The most effective method is to keep this turned off and only enable it when needed. If you prefer to leave it on, review which apps have access. For each app, avoid the Always Allow setting. Instead, choose while using the app or never for apps that do unneed your location at all. Also, go into System Services within Location Services and turn off Significant locations, which tracks places you frequently visit. Managing your screen brightness wisely can save a lot of power. In settings, go to display and brightness, ensure auto brightness is turned on. This allows your iPhone to intelligently adjust the screen to your environment, preventing it from being unnecessarily bright. Using Wi-Fi consumes significantly less battery than using cellular data. Whenever possible, connect to a Wi-Fi network. For cellular settings, if you are in an area with poor 5G coverage, consider switching your cellular mode to 4G LTE. Your iPhone will drain battery faster if it's constantly struggling to maintain a weak 5G signal. Finally, 
let's look at AirDrop. Go to Settings, tap General, tap AirDrop. The Bringing Devices Together option can be turned off as it's rarely used. For even better battery life, you can turn off receiving entirely. You can always quickly enable AirDrop from the Control Center whenever you need to send or receive a file, preventing it from constantly scanning for nearby devices. Please subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching.